Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you've got really poor Wi-Fi signal in your home and uh, if it's a big home or a small home and you're getting really bad dead spots then something like the Orbi Netgear can really sort of boost your Wi-Fi around your home and also around the perimeter of your house because it actually sends a signal really far afield and does quite a good job at boosting that Wi-Fi signal. Now this has the state-of-the-art latest uh, Wi-Fi technology which is the mesh network uh, setup and also as you can see here it covers up to 4,500 square feet and this is AC2200. Uh, now this is a tri-band Wi-Fi system here and you're going to get three little pods here. One of them is going to be your router and uh, these other two are going to be like your satellites uh, to connect up to around your home. You space these equally around your home which then gives you a really good Wi-Fi signal throughout your home. You can actually buy them in twos and singles and stuff like that so if you want to add more at a later date you can do uh, with the Orbi uh, Netgear mesh home system. I'll just get the specs up on the screen here for you. You can pause this and take a look at it. So this is what you're going to get in the kit. If you buy this one, this is going to have the, the three items inside here, which is going to be, one of them is going to be your router, and uh, two of them are going to be your satellite. As you can see here, we have two satellites in this kit. They do have a router and a satellite version as well. If that's what you're interested in, uh, then check the video description. But basically, these will be spread around your home. We have another satellite here. We'll take a closer look at these in a second. And also we do have the router itself. You can see it's clearly uh, marked here on the package. So this is everything you're going to get inside the kit here. You're going to get your power adapters and also your Ethernet cables here. You can see them in there. We'll get to those a little bit later on when we set it up. It's very easy to set up. You also get your quick start guide here. This is going to help you uh, set up your mesh system. It's very easy to do and I'll show you how to do it. You get your warranty card and stuff like that in there as well. You've got your satellite and your router. So let's take a look at the satellite first. This is going to be your satellite here. Really nice design. Quite big as you can see here. Size of my hand so a good six inches odd in size. On the back here we have the sync button, uh, two ethernet ports on here, you have your power on and off and also we have a reset and your power input. Now what I like about these is the power on and off, you don't have to have them powered on all the time, you can turn them off if you wished to do so and also uh, it's very nice and set up. You've got uh, some sort of display light up the top here when you power it on, uh, this will help you uh, set it up so if it's red it will mean it's not connecting correctly and then you'll get a little light up the top showing you how it works. Good, good ventilation down the bottom here. Got anti-slip rubber feet on here as well to stop them slipping around and I think they will look pretty nice on any sort of uh, countertop or anything like that wherever you want to put them. Uh, the router itself again same same sort of structure you can have your uh, sync, internet and ethernet and your power button and your power input and also your reset. Now when you're using this, if you're using it on say a Virgin Media setup or something like that, you're going to need to put your, uh, your uh, router into modem mode. Okay, You don't want to be removing that completely otherwise you'll have no uh, modem and you won't get no internet. So you need to put that router into modem mode and then this replaces uh, that router and this becomes your main router and the other one will just be a modem and this will d deal with all your Wi-Fi needs and stuff like that rather than using the other one. Okay so the first thing you'll need to do is log into your router from your ISP provider. Now I'm with Virgin Media but if you're with another type of um, uh, supplier then you need to log into your router and uh, the details will be on the bottom of the router you should be able to see uh, the IP address there and you will be able to log into the main menu if you don't know how to do all this sort of stuff 
then you want to obviously contact your ISP for the information on how to get into your router um, menu. So I'm just going to put in my password here and log in. Okay, so now I'm logged into my Virgin Media uh, menu system here. And this normally controls the whole of my home. It will deal with all the Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And you can see here we do have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz enabled on the uh, router system here. And th what's going to happen is the Netgear is now going to control all of this and do all this itself with its own router. So we don't need to have this as a router anymore. So we need to go over to where it says modem mode and we need to enable modem mode. So I'm going to put this into modem mode and then I'm going to switch off the router and uh, basically once I've done that I will be able to then plug in the new Netgear. So I'm just going to do this now. And you can see here this is the new menu system number. So all I need to do now is uh, shut down the router and uh, what I'll do is I'll plug in the new router. Okay so the next step is to get our router so make sure you've chosen the router and not the satellite and you can see here we do have a port for the internet this is where your internet connection is going to go into okay so we plug this into our internet port it's marked yellow and then we're going to plug in our power adapter into the power source here now mine's right at the back of the uh, computer so I'll have to get under the table and do that but basically just plug that in and uh, what we'll do then is power it on. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. This wall light will flash on and off for the Netgear router. This is our new router, and you can see here we've got our two Ethernet cables in here. One is going to the modem, which goes into the Ethernet port, and the other one goes to my computer, which gives it internet. If you want to use more ports you will need to get yourself a, a new switch or something like that or a hub uh, so you can plug those in uh, because those now down on the old virgin meter one will be obsolete if you see a magenta like this then there's a problem and you need to try to sync them or reconnect them or go through the whole installation process because you've got a problem with your mesh network okay it must be blue and i'll show you how to get that blue so let's go ahead and do the installation via our computer. So I'm just going to accept their terms and conditions and go through the next button. And what will happen is it will start searching uh, for your internet connectivity. It says that's working okay, so click next. And now it's going to set up our or Orbi satellites. You can either skip this, I'm going to go next, and it will search for those. Now it might not find both of them, but that's okay. We can sync them and pair them afterwards. But I'm just going to, here you go, it's got one detected. So I'm going to set up that Orbi satellite. And you'll get this, take a bit of time, put in your account details here, your password and stuff like that. And let it configure it for you. You'll get the configuration completed and it will give you your Wi-Fi password and stuff like that on the screen. I've blurred it out, but just let that go through the uh, process there of uh, setting it out for you. Now it's telling me there is updates available for the router and the satellite uh, pods there. So I'm gonna let this update the firmware. It's important to keep these updated uh, for security reasons and also to fix any bugs. So I'm gonna let that go through and do the update. So once they're connected you should see a nice blue light on the top and that means you're getting good connectivity uh, via your satellite to your router. So you can see the page here now do more with your Orbi uh, Wi-Fi. You can do some other stuff here as well. Add more satellites if you wish. Um, also there is a little app you can download for your phone which gives you full control of your home Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi settings, uh, device list. Um, you can com uh, connect remotely. You can get the app from the Google Play Store or their website, or you can get it from the Apple Store. Um, you can manage all your network with just one tap there, as you can see, very smart and easy to do. 
uh, very very simple you can also remotely manage your home network and even set up a safe zone for your children if you want to using the circle with Disney uh, you can enable that feature if you wish if you have uh, young children you've got parental parent controls and also you can even set up a guest network for someone if they pop around your home and you want to set up a guest network and you can see all your attached devices and it tells you your internet is in good working order and there you go let's take a look at some of the attached devices here there's other features in here I'm not going to cover all of them but basically you see they're both working the satellites are connected one is showing good and the other one is just in the process of being installed and it should come up good right now there you go okay so as you can see we're getting very good Wi-Fi signal here and this is quite a dead spot in my home and you can see I'm getting very good signal strength right here so depending on what you're trying to do whether it be 2.4 G or 5 G this will give you good Wi-Fi signal around your home and the perimeter of your house and sometimes further afield up the garden you can still get good Wi-Fi signal uh, with this type of mesh network now I noticed that sometimes people did say that it would be cheaper to buy another router uh, well simply that is an old way of doing things and this is the more modern way of uh, networks which is a mesh network which is much more better and much more stronger and preferred because they interlink all around your home and you end up eliminating any sort of dead spots around your home so if you are one of these people that got a lot of dead spots around your home then something like this uh, mesh network set up by Netgear is pretty good okay anyway that is the Orbi Netgear mesh setup very easy to do and it's a really decent bit of kit so if you're after one of these I'll leave all the information in the video description for you you can check that out now you might not need the big free pack depending on the size of your home you can buy the certain amount of satellites to uh, the size of your home and also uh, depending on how many uh, dead spots you get in your home just walk around your home you'll see some dead spots and this will resolve that issue okay anyway i hope this has been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos